Hi, Ken Martin here, PGA member, certified in general management and instruction and instructor here at Kaiser University's College of Golf. I wanted to talk a little bit about the equipment. We've been talking about golf balls and the development. And the last one we talked about was this bramble pattern uh, gutta percha. So this, was, this ball was used for about 20 years before the dimple actually came out. Uh, and this pattern was one that was used by uh, Harry Varden back around the late 1800s and early 1900s. And the golf club that uh, it spurred was of course the persimmon wood. But something else that came into development was the iron. Back in the day of the uh, feathery golf ball, irons were made very specifically. Typically, this is, this is basically a rut iron. Sometimes a golf ball would get caught in a rut and they had to just get it out of that rut and then go on hitting the golf ball with their uh, long nose woods. Uh, but you can see this was very smooth faced because it wasn't used for any purpose other than getting it out of an, a depression. Once this golf ball uh, came to be, in order to get the ball up in the air, they started to put grooves on these irons. And so this is an example of an early groove pattern on an iron. You can see how far apart they are, but this helped get the water off the face so that this golf ball would fly better. Now there's been a lot of iterations of grooves since this one, uh, but this is how it all started. And you can see that this iron started to get considerably bigger because with this ball, irons were used much more often than woods.